What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're I'm going to be reacting to uh, the top 100 uh, players of 2018. Um, specifically I'm just going to be sticking with the Cowboys. And this one is Zach Martins. He's number 71. He's the first Cowboy to make it uh, so far uh, as far as uploads. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get into it guys. Here we go. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. Zach Martin's a phenomenal, phenomenal. He's the best pass blocking guard in the NFL, hands down. Hands down. Making his second straight appearance on the top 100 and one of only two guards. Okay, so really quickly, um, by the way, I'm trying something new. I'm not going to be talking while the video is going on. I'm going to pause it and talk. Uh, first of all, that guy, I don't... Uh, best pass blocker? That's debatable. Um, I would honestly say Tyron... Uh, not Ty, Ty, <clears throat> Tyron Smith, excuse me, uh, is a better one than him. But, I mean, to each their own. I mean, if he thinks that it's Zach Martin, then it's Zach Martin for him, you know. But uh, I'd say our left tackle is better than him, Tyron Smith. Um, but honestly, I would say Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, and Tyron Smith. You know, I mean, we got those guys. I, I know, uh, was, anyway, they were all pretty high draft picks. I don't want to say they were all first round because that's not true. I know that not all of them were. But, uh, I mean, this is his second straight year making the top 100. Last year he was 58, as you saw. He so he fell a little bit, but I mean, this this right here, uh, this year they're doing it a little differently. What they're doing is they are making it to where the players vote on who they want to be on the top 100. And from what I've heard, Zach Martin was over 60% of the players voted for him. But uh, yeah, I mean, anyway, so let's go on. Let's continue on. The list is the Cowboys' Zach Martin. He's freakishly athletic. Everything you want in alignment he is, and then his brains make him that much better, how smart he is. Zach Martin is the best at what he does. Number 70, Zach Martin gets the kick out block there. Right guard, I don't believe I've seen anybody as better than Zach Martin. He's, I think, a freak of nature. I remember playing him in college you just look at him and like, I don't know how this guy's human. Zach Martin's a road grader, man. Big physical specimen in there. He really moves. I w it's debatable that he's the best right guard. I would say he is. And I don't want to come off as, as me saying that just because he plays for the Dallas Cowboys. But honestly, I mean, everyone knows and no one can deny that we have one of, if not the best offensive line in the National Football League. So far. Now, granted, we didn't have the best uh, this last year. I'm going to admit that. I don't know who had the best, but I know that it wasn't us. Year before, heck yeah, we did. We had the best offensive line in the National Football League. Um, no doubt about it. And, you know, with the new guy, Connor Williams, coming in, Lyle Collins is able to go back to what he is, is the best at, and that is the left guard position. So, you know, I mean... I mean, so far, I mean, I like I like what I'm seeing. I actually have not watched this yet, so yeah, let's continue. Let's continue on. Well, does a really good job of creating space in the run game. Super solid in pass pro. Martin's been either first or second team All Pro each of the last four years. He started every game in 2017 and allowed the fewest quarterback pressures by a guard with 11. Man, he does a great job protecting that quarterback. He's got a decent amount of weight to him, and he knows how to use it to where it's hard to move him in his pass set. I just jumps him. I just try to pull, but if you get on him, you're good. Don't let him get ahead of Steve. Here's the thing about Zach Martin that I really like is that he has, and you know, they, they already said that he allowed the fewest quarterback pressures. Um, and the thing, the thing that I just, I love about Zach Martin is that 
not only does he know how to use his weight properly and you know he doesn't just throw himself out there and get stuck going one way he, he has very very quick feet and you're not gonna out 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 pressure him i guess you could say or out push him it's just not gonna happen i mean no one i mean with the generally with offensive linemen you're not gonna be able to really uh bulldoze over them per se i guess i guess that's what i'm trying to say you're not gonna be able to bulldoze over them it's just it's it's not really gonna happen and especially with our offensive linemen because our offensive linemen they were high draft picks for a reason because they are the best at what they do and uh so yeah let's continue on what's up 70 ready to go today His feet is so good, uh, he can change so fast to get right back where he needs to be. Split second, because it's going to happen so fast. <sighs> yeah, I got to deal with it in practice, so that's why I'm, I'm just, you know, rethinking about all the moments that we don't have. It'll make you mad, oh man, just going against him. How about uh, Zach Martin? Zach is so good, this is the second time you guys asked me about him this year. Oh, really? That, that's how good Zach I, is. Uh, no, we'll no, we'll no, 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 no. I want to talk about him again. Okay. So that's the end of that video. Um, like I said, I love our offensive linemen. I believe at least three of them, if not four, deserve to be on the top 100 list. Um... I was kind of hoping Zach Martin would be a little bit higher than what he is. But, uh, you know, you know, it's, I didn't, I didn't put him there. Uh, I'm hoping a lot more Dallas Cowboys make it on the top 100 list. Um, obviously I, I believe Zeke's going to be on there. Sean Lee, I think is going to be on there. Uh, Dak Prescott, I believe is going to be on there. I don't think, I don't think that they that those two are going to be as high as they were last year because Zeke was number seven and I think Dak was number 14 or something yeah he was number 14 mm -hmm. and uh so I don't like I said I don't, I don't think they're going to be as high uh but I believe they do believe I do I believe they do deserve to be on there but um yeah I I love what they're saying about him how he's quick he's able to not just get caught up going one way he's able to throw his body and his weight and to every block, and uh, I don't know if you guys saw on there, he allowed two or fewer two or fewer sacks in all four seasons that he's played with us. So, anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Zach Martin, if he deserves to be higher or lower. And uh, yeah, hope you hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Peace.